No. Hi right, guys, welcome back to Hobby Farm Homestead. We're up here at Pig Barn, of course. Um, we're gonna get one of them out here, and my son's gonna work them a little bit. Uh, up here at the farm, or at the barn, we're gonna have some issues with electrical. Obviously, we're running heat lamps. Um, we need to maybe run another circuit up here for now until we get uh, some time to put them. In. So I'm gonna figure out when we're gonna do that. I gotta measure here. Just another 20 amp circuit should be sufficient enough to run, totally run up here. It's just the heat lamps are the issues. Um, we only use it in the winter time. But we're gonna get him out and work him. I'm gonna film him a little bit and uh, we'll go on from there. brand new like this they don't want to work they just want to do what they want so you just got to keep working over and over with them until you break them i mean that's pretty much what it is uh, so they know when you get out there and you have the whip on them that uh, they need to follow directions but they normally do that so it's only like the third time we've worked we got them out and worked them so just got to keep at it it's a lot of hard work and a lot of time dedicated to them. You gotta have a lot of patience with them, that's all. Alright guys, hey, we're back down at the farm now from the um, pig barn. But I wanted to show you guys a uh, moisture meter that I got sent to me and how it works and uh, give you guys a code down below and get a discount on this. So I want to show it to you here So it's a testman and like I said, there's gonna be a link down below But I got two pieces of wood here. One is skid wood. that's from three years ago and this is uh, Like a tulip tree like a poplar type of deal that I just split up um, about two months ago, but it's been down since January of last year. So let's see if there's any kind of difference in the moisture. Let's turn it on. All right. Let's stick it in there. Let's see. Let's try this. All right, so that's Looks like it is 11% somewhere around there. And that stuff's not even reading. Let's try it at the very end. Nothing there. See, that's got 11% in it. Uh, all right, well, this piece of wood that's been down probably for five years has moisture in it, but that's oak. And this is a soft wood like maple, but it's been under the lean-to, and it doesn't have any moisture in it, which I'm sure it has some in it, but it's not picking up any. All right, guys, like I said, I'll leave a link down below. It's Testman, and uh, you can get a, a discount on it, and I'll give you the code to put in. All right, guys, let's move on. Well, I got them all separated, except for those two down there, which they're going to be leaving. This is the final and last pig right here. He's a little under the weather. So I just gave him a shot this morning. Help him through it. Hopefully uh, he starts feeling better. But the pigs are growing pretty good, actually. They're doing real good. It's probably one of the biggest ones we have right now. 
His name's Frank. These two, like I said, these two are, they're going to leave. This is coming next week. Everybody's separated. All right, guys. Well, this was a short video. Like I said, uh, I'll leave uh, uh, the link in the description there for that uh, moisture protector. Uh, there's a discount code there and everything. Um, so be sure to get on there and check it out. Uh, like I showed you, the difference between those two woods, it's, uh, you know, the poplar, it dries a lot faster, tulip wood, than the oak. Oak takes a long time to dry. So, um, we'll revisit that time to time, just see how fresh, you know, fresh split wood, how long it takes to uh, dry out and all that good stuff. But uh, until then, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.